Alrighty, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys basically how to transfer Pokemon from your emulator to your Nintendo Switch. Now, basically, you need to three things for this process to basically work pretty properly. First, you need an emulator, which is can either be Yuzu or Ryu Jinx. Second, you can have Pika Hex if you want. That's just for editing your Pokemon profile, like editing Pokemon stats, getting different type of Pokemons. Stuff like that, you can have PK Hex, that's a optional, that can be optional. And second, you need to, third, you need to have a custom firmware switch. So it's very important for you guys to have an emulator and a custom firmware switch. And PK Hex can be optional due to the fact that that's where you basically edit the Pokemon files if you want to basically have some extra things that you want to be transferred over either from your emulator or your custom firmware switch. All right, first things first, we're gonna go head over to our emulator, which is gonna be Yuzu. Left click, open save that location. As you see right here, the main save. Next, head over to your custom firmware folder. Mine is right here. You can have something like Checkpoint or JKSV. Now, how you basically transfer is pretty simple and easy. Head over to JKSV, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, you can put this, you have your own custom, make sure you back up your save first on either Checkpoint or JKS V for this process to basically work. So, after that, you can click on any one of your folders. Like, I put this on my PKX folder because I can know this is easy to transfer. What I'm going to do here is basically drag and drop. And then you, when you basically drag and drop, it should be basically be able to transfer over and then something that actually replace the destination this basically replace the old file with the new file and after that it's all good and then you basically plug in into your custom firmware you're basically plug in into your custom firmware switch and then when you load up jksv you're gonna load up um where the save file you put and like say for example i put in pk hex Basically, I'm gonna um, reload the PKX folder, and after that, I go in and play the game. That's how you basically transfer. I cannot showcase me doing it on the Switch because the video is basically gonna get claimed by Nintendo because the last video I did regarding to transferring, and I did that through the same exact method that I explained to you. As soon as I got to the Switch part, showcasing homebrew apps and all that good stuff, the video got claimed, so that part of the video got claimed. So I'm not trying to risk getting claimed again. So take my word for it. It's pretty, as I explained to it, I just explained how the process works. It's pretty simple and easy. If you're familiar with custom firmware, you know how this process basically works. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you transfer Pokemon from your emulator to your Switch or to your Switch to your emulator. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, also subscribe by the new channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Rayton. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.